Before we start, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video updates. This lesson will help you understand the concept of typhoon formation. After going through this lesson, you are expected to explain how typhoon develops and how it is affected by land masses and bodies of water. Typhoon can hit Philippines any time of the year, with the months of June to September being most active, and May the least active. No part of the country is spared. All provinces have been visited by a typhoon especially part of Eastern Visayas, Bicol Region and Northern Luzon. Recently on December 2019 Super Typhoon Kisoy hits the Philippines. And many people need to evacuate to prevent deaths. According to Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA, an average of 20 tropical cyclones enter the Philippine area of responsibility or PAR every year. What is a typhoon? Tropical cyclone, also called as typhoon or bagyo, in our country. An intense circular storm that originates over warm tropical oceans, is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, high winds and heavy rain. The term typhoon is used only in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean. In the northeastern part of Pacific Ocean and in the northern part of Atlantic Ocean, the equivalent term is hurricane. Thus, a hurricane on one side of the Pacific Ocean will be called typhoon if it crosses into the other side. Tropical Cyclone Wind Signal When Pag-asa monitors the tropical cyclones enter the Philippine area of responsibility and it is constantly in motion. Generally toward the Philippines then it is time to issue warning signals. The public storm warn signal number over a threatened or affected locality may be sequentially upgraded or downgraded. Tropical Depression 64 km per hour. Tropical Storm 118 km per hour. Typhoon 200 km per hour. Super Typhoon greater than 200 km per hour. How Typhoon develop? A tropical cyclone forms when winds blow into areas of the ocean where the water is warm which is found near equator. The better source of water vapor is in the ocean but not all can provide water vapor. According to the scientists the temperature of ocean water must be 26.5 degrees Celsius or greater. This winds collects moisture and rice while colder air moves in below. This creates pressure which causes the winds to move very quickly. In land masses the typhoon weaken because it loses energy in cold causing them to vanish if the land mass is large. The table shows the public storm warning signals. Lead time, wind speed, and the impact of winds or the damage. Before we continue, please subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Let's do the activity. Learning Task 1. Analyze and give an interpretation about each picture below. Learning Task 2. Study and answer the questions. Learning Task 3. Using the map of the Philippines and its vicinity, plot the given point on the map. Connect the plotted points. The region within is the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR. Let's answer the guide questions. 1. What are the places located in the identified points? Answer Borneo and Taiwan. 2. If a typhoon is located 15 north, 138 east, is it within the PAR? Answer No, it is not within the Philippine area of responsibility. 3. How about if the typhoon is at 90 north, 117 east, is it inside the PAR? Answer Yes, it is within the Philippine area of responsibility. 4. Why do you think Philippines experience an average of 20 to 25 typhoon a year? Explain your answer. Answer because of its geographical location. Philippines is surrounded by bodies of water wherein most of the typhoons are formed in the ocean-like Pacific Ocean. Learning Task 4. Shown below are the tracks of four tropical cyclones that entered the Philippine area of responsibility in the past years. The tracks were plotted by Pagasa. Let's answer the quiet questions. 
Number 1. Where did the tropical cyclone form? On land or in the ocean? Answer. Ocean. Number 2. What can you tell about the track of the typhoon in 2003-2004? Answer. They almost have the same pathway or track. Number 3. In what direction did the tropical cyclone move? Answer. Tropical cyclone move is the west across the country, heading north. Number 4. Which part of the Philippines was hit by four tropical cyclones? Answer. Eastern Visayas, Bicol Region, and Northern Luzon. Number 5. In the case of Agaton, Yoyong and Waning, where did they die out? Near land or in the of the ocean? Answer. Near land. Learning task number 5. Give precautionary measures before, during and after the typhoon. Learning task number 6. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. From what bodies of water do typhoon originate? A. Ocean B. Lake C. Rivers D. Streams. Answer. A. Ocean. Number 2. The name of the typhoon that caused great floods in Metro Manila that resulted to many damaged houses and properties in 2009. A. Idang B. Mondo C. Kuring D. Ondoy. Answer, the Ondoy. Number 3. Name the agency of the government that monitor typhoon in the Philippines. Answer, the Pagasa. Number 4. It is rotating storm system characterized by a low pressure center, strong winds, and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain. A. Rain, the tropical cyclone, sea snow, the sand store. Answer. The tropical cyclone. Number 5. What is the name of the big bodies of water that is where almost all typhoon that pass in our country? A. Indian Ocean B. West Philippine Sea C. Atlantic Ocean B. Pacific Ocean. Answer. The Pacific Ocean. That ends our lesson for today. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will also upload modules for third and fourth quarter. So thank you for watching.